Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. Come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's still a redundant killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Stupid to bring Lauren. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid on Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back, okay? Okay. Just let me know if you need me. Hi. Great party, huh? <laughs> well, let's get better acquainted, pal. <laughs> oh, you're my kind of guy. I like you. <laughs> my friend. Maybe this job does have its first. Now I got me a new friend. Whiskey straight up, no ice. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? Look, here's Mr. Franklin. Says I should go up. Talk so crazy if I shove that wall down your throat? Beat it. I ain't for sale. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way.
Miss. Miss, are you all right? Hey, wake up. Shit. Another one's gonna OD on the dance floor. <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can't believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of Having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me.
Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. This is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. The origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. So, am I looking for a butterfly? Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it, slowly, so I don't tear up my arms. match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. choice. 